Peace y'all, I am ICC and what I have today is a quick tutorial on how to use Super Nintendo controllers on your Nintendo Switch, PS4, PS3, Xbox One, and Xbox 360. To use the method I am about to show you, you will need a few items. A Titan 2 and a micro USB cable, a Mayflash SNES to USB converter, and a Super Nintendo controller. I would also recommend using a controller that matches the console you are playing on so you have all the functions. So the first thing we need to do is hook up the Titan 2 to our PC or Mac via the probe port on the back. Launch the GTuner 4 software if you don't have it. Download it for free from consoletuner.com. Now let's launch GTuner and click Online Resources and click Input Translators. Search for my script named SNES Controller Support Analog Version. So drag and drop it to any empty memory slot on your Titan 2 and remember which slot you used for later. Now let's head over to the console. Take your Mayflash SNES USB converter and plug it in along with your SNES controller into input A. You must choose input A while using this input translator because input B will be the original layout so you can use the original controller that matches the console. Take your Titan 2 and hook it up to the console via the output port on the back. You can hook this up to any of the supported consoles and I do recommend plugging in an original controller from the console into input B. This way you have all of the functions needed to navigate or play and you can also avoid any interruptions. For example, the PS4 and its 10 minute timer. Now let's boot up the console. Once it's up and running, flip to the memory slot you chose for the input translator script now you are ready to game with your SNES controller on any modern console. One thing I would like to mention, this method will also work on a Raspberry Pi or a PC. Even though this method uses an adapter that is already supported by the Pi and the PC, you can use the Titan 2 to run macros. Say for example you come across a part that you can't beat, someone can make a macro to help you out. Or maybe you want to beat a game in record time and have the macro recorded. You can also use scripts to have inputs which are not possible to humans. For example, if you wanted to program a turbo button, or any other button combination. You can also use the memory slots on the Titan 2 to have multiple layouts for your button mappings. Slot 1 could be an SNES controller, while slot 2 could be a Wii controller. And keep your eye out for that video, I will be showing you how to use Wii controllers on Nintendo Switch, PS4, Xbox One, or any of the consoles I have already mentioned. Anyways, I'm going to show you it up and running. I only have Breath of Wild on the Switch, so I'm going to use this on a PS4 game. Oh, my God. 